Hey there, you're sitting in a spaceship, hurtling through the vast expanse of the cosmos. You're on a long-distance mission, and your fuel supplies are dwindling. Suddenly, a massive, spherical object appears in the distance. It's a Newton transfer, a celestial body that can replenish your ship's fuel and provide a gravitational boost to propel you further into space. But how long does it take to complete a Newton transfer? Let's find out. Understanding Newton transfers. Newton transfers, also known as gravity assists, are a technique used in space exploration to change the trajectory of a spacecraft by utilizing the gravitational pull of a celestial body. This technique was first proposed by Sir Isaac Newton in the 17th century. To perform a Newton transfer, a spacecraft flies close to a planet or moon. As it approaches, the planet's gravity accelerates the spacecraft. When the spacecraft swings around the planet, it gains additional momentum, allowing it to travel faster and farther than it could on its own. The duration of a Newton transfer depends on several factors, including the mass of the celestial body, the distance between the spacecraft and the celestial body, the desired change in velocity, the spacecraft's trajectory, case studies, Let's examine a few real-world examples to get a better understanding of how long Newton transfers can take. Voyager 1 and 2, these spacecraft used multiple gravity assists from Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune to achieve escape velocity from the solar system. The entire journey took several decades, but the gravity assists significantly shortened the travel time compared to a direct flight asterisk. Messenger, this spacecraft used a series of gravity assists from Earth, Venus, and Mercury to enter orbit around the innermost planet. The mission took approximately seven years to complete, asterisk. Juno, this spacecraft used a gravity assist from Earth to reach Jupiter in just five years. The Earth flyby provided a significant boost in speed, allowing Juno to reach its destination much faster than if it had traveled directly, asterisk. Factors Affecting Duration While the specific duration of a Newton transfer can vary widely, there are several factors that can influence the length of time it takes. Mass of the celestial body A more massive celestial body will exert a stronger gravitational pull, which can accelerate the spacecraft more rapidly. This can shorten the duration of the transfer of asterisk. Distance between the spacecraft and the celestial body, the closer the spacecraft gets to the celestial body, the stronger the gravitational pull will be. This can also shorten the duration of the transfer of asterisk. Desired change in velocity, the amount of velocity that the spacecraft needs to gain will determine how long it needs to be in the gravitational field of the celestial body. A larger change in velocity will require a longer transfer time, asterisk. Spacecraft's trajectory, the path that the spacecraft takes as it approaches and leaves the celestial body will also affect the duration of the transfer. A more efficient trajectory can shorten the time spent in the gravitational field, asterisk. Conclusion As you can see, the duration of a Newton transfer can vary significantly depending on a variety of factors. While some transfers can take several years to complete, others can be accomplished in a relatively short amount of time. Newton transfers are a valuable tool for space exploration, allowing spacecraft to reach distant destinations that would otherwise be unattainable. By understanding the factors that influence the duration of these transfers, we can better plan future missions and explore the vast expanse of the cosmos. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.